Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Aeon Laser YouTube channel. In today's video we will be showing you how to perform a 5 point test on a mirror. You will need painter's tape and a 2.5mm allen key to begin. Start by powering on your machine and allow it to fully reset. Then jog the laser head to the center of the laser bed. It can be plus or minus a couple of millimeters. Uh, feel free to pause this video to review your machine center points. Then take a 1 to 2 inch piece of painter's tape and press the sticky side firmly into the nozzle. Now it's time to close the lid and quickly press pulse on the keypad. Then open the lid and gently remove the tape from the nozzle. Make sure you don't fold or rotate the tape when removing. Inspect your pulse mark. Look for the shape of the pulse, as well as where the pulse is in relation to the center of the divot that was made when pressing the tape into the nozzle. See the example picture below. If your pulse is in the center, grab a fresh piece of tape and apply it to the nozzle just like you did in step 3. If the pulse is not centered, skip to step 8. With your pulse centered, pulse the machine in the 5 points, moving the tape in tandem to correlate to where the machine is being pulsed. See the 5 points below. Inspect your results. If your pulses look like they're hitting in the same spot across the bed, congratulations, your five point test is complete. Now, if your pulse is not center, you will need to adjust the brass alignment knobs. First, make sure the laser head is in the center of the bed. We'll begin with covering leftward adjustment. The circle brass alignment knob and set screw will be used for the leftward movement of the pulse mark. Feel free to move the autofocus sensor out of the way as needed. Take a look at the image below for reference. Slightly loosen the set screw with a size 2.5 mm Allen key. Loosen the lock nut on the brass alignment knob, then slightly loosen the alignment knob. You'll be turning counterclockwise. Then tighten the lock nut and then the set screw. Make sure you don't over torque the set screw. The threading in the laser head is easy to strip. Now it's time to test. Grab a fresh piece of tape and put it on the nozzle. Pulse in the center of the bed remove the tape, and take a look at the location of the pulse mark. Repeat this process as needed until you get the pulse mark into the center of the divot. Next is rightward adjustment. The circled brass alignment knob and set screw are going to be used for the rightward movement of the pulse mark. Move the autofocus sensor wire out of the way if needed. Slightly loosen the set screw with a size 2.5 mm Allen key. Then loosen the lock nut on the brass alignment knob. Now we're going to tighten the alignment knob, turning it clockwise. Then tighten the lock nut and set screw. Again, be careful not to over torque. Just like before, it's time to test. Get a fresh piece of tape and press it into the nozzle. Pulse the laser in the center of the bed, then remove the tape and inspect the pulse mark. Repeat the process as needed until the pulse mark is centered in the divot. Next is upward adjustment. The circled brass alignment knob and set screw are gonna be used for upward movement of the pulse mark. Again, move the autofocus sensor wire out of the way if needed. First, loosen the set screw with a size 2.5 mm Allen key. Then, loosen the lock nut on the brass alignment knob. We're going to tighten the alignment knob, turning it clockwise. Then, tighten the lock nut and the set screw. Be careful not to over torque. Again, run another test. We'll take a fresh piece of tape, pulse the machine in the center of the bed, and then inspect the pulse mark on the tape. Repeat this process as needed until the pulse mark is centered in the divot. And finally, downward adjustment. The circle brass alignment knob and set screw will be used for the adjustment of the pulse mark. Move the autofocus wire out of the way as needed. Slightly loosen the set screw with a size 2.5 mm Allen key, then loosen the lock nut on the alignment knob and loosen the alignment knob, turning counterclockwise. Then tighten the lock nut and the set screw, again careful not to over torque the set screw. Lastly, we'll test one more time. Grab a fresh piece of tape and put it on the nozzle, pulse in the center of the bed, and then remove the tape and inspect the pulse mark. Repeat this process until the pulse mark is centered in the divot. And just like that, the five point test is complete. Thank you so much for watching.